Hi there, my name is Sean. I'm calling on behalf of Senior Benefits. How are you today? I'm okay. How are you? This call is just to let you know that you may qualify for a new state-regulated life insurance plan. This plan is designated to cover 100% of your funeral, burial, and cremation expense. Today I have a licensed agent on the line with me, and they'll provide you with a free, no-obligation consultation quote. So would you be interested in learning about this affordable life insurance plan? Yes! To see maximum benefits, can you please tell me how old you are? 79! That's all the details I need for now. I'll go ahead and transfer you over to a licensed agent for a free, no-obligation quote. In between that call, you may speak with one of my quality control reps. They just want to ask you two questions uh, just to make sure I'm doing a good job. Okay? So oh. bear with me for a moment. Here we go. Okay. Hello! Thanks, sir. Thanks for holding, sir. This is Mike. I'm a verification officer. How are you doing today? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Actually, my job is to verify a couple of things, and then I will connect you to the licensed agent in your state, Michigan. You are in the state of Michigan, right, sir? Yes. And you're looking for some free information about the final expense program that has been approved in your state, right? Yes. Okay, can I confirm your zip code and your first and last name? My zip code is 48126. My first name is Robert, and my last name is Grinnell. Can you spell your last name? It's spelled G as in golf. R is in Romeo, I is in India, N is in November, N is in November, E is in Echo, L is in Lima, L is in Lima. It's the same spelling as the college in Iowa and the piano store that used to be on Woodward Avenue in Detroit. I got it, sir. My God bless you, Mr. Roberts. You, how old are you, Mr. Robert? You still sound like a young boy. I'm 79. I talk loud because oh, I'm really? hard of hearing, and this is the only way I can hear myself. Okay. You still sound like a young man. <laughs> My God bless you. Thank you. Okay, and Mr. Robert, you're welcome. Mr. Robert, you do have an active checking account or saving account, debit or credit card, just yes or no? Yes. Okay, um, I believe that you can make your own decisions by yourself, right, Mr. Robert? That's right. I've been making my own decisions ever since I fired my caseworker, Mo Lester, and ever since I fired the law firm of Shyster and Shyster. Okay. My God bless you, Mr. Robert. Okay, Mr. Robert, I have a license agent available in your state of Michigan. Um, they will give you all information about final expense program and life insurance that has been approved in your state, okay? So they will ask you that, are you here for a, looking for some information about final expense program? You just tell them that you're looking for yourself, okay? And they will give you all information about that plan. They say a meal okay, never... Robert? Yes, I look forward to speaking with the licensed secret agent. Uh, Mr. Robert, can I confirm your date of birth? I was born a poor child, Christmas Day, year of our Lord, 1942. When I was born, the battle of Stalingrad was still raging in Russia, and it was Franklin Roosevelt's third term in office. And Robert, can I confirm, like, uh, are you smoker or non-smoker? Well, I smoke crystal meth, crack cocaine, ganja, nicotine cigarettes, Cuban cigars, and I also smoke hookahs. Okay, it's, a, it's a, rather really strange. That is not good for health. It helps keep me young. Okay. Okay, Mr. Robert, we are not best resource. Uh, thanks so much for your time. Yes, again. Hello? Hello? 
Hello, Robert. Yes. Hello, sir. My name is Max. I am calling from the warranty department in regards to your home. At and our records indicate that the warranty on your home's appliances and systems has expired. Did you receive our notice in the mail? No. Uh, well, uh, we sent you a notice that let you know that your warranty had expired and also provided with uh, your new home uh, warranties available for your home. But this is our final call. Oh. Uh, well, sir. Yes, sir? I'm very concerned about the home warranty. I need the warranty to cover my clothesline and cover the wood-burning stove and cover my radio from 1938 that runs on vacuum tubes and also my wife does all the dishes and she's getting up there in age and sooner or later if she dies before me I won't have anyone to do my dishes and I'll have to buy a, a dishwasher well um uh, I would like to let you know what our warranty covers. It does not cover only appliances, but it also covers the electrical system, uh, the plumbing, heating and air conditioning if, if you have it, also the hot water heater, the washer and dryer. It also includes all of the kitchen appliances that you may have, and even small items like doorbells and garage door openers. Oh, yeah, you mentioned a lot of newfangled stuff I don't really have. Like, I don't have an air conditioner, but what I do during the summer is I have this old GE fan from 1950, and I put it behind a bucket full of ice, and that's my air conditioner. Um, well, um, I understand that maybe you don't have uh, some of the items that I mentioned, but, well, uh, that's why the warranties options are, are very, they're very, um, they can expand to whatever you need. If you don't have some of the items, we can just uh, help you choose the option that works best for you. And well, um, it, would, it will also be the lowest cost, uh, for the lowest cost that there, there's out there. So what do I have to do to get this? Uh, well, right now I will bring the warranty specialist that would let you know all of the details. And well, you can decide for yourself, sir. Okay, I look forward to speaking with the warranty specimen. All right, uh, just one question. Everything is working correctly at your home? Yes, at the moment, except for me. Huh. All right, sir. Well, uh, since everything's working, that means that you do qualify. So I'll bring the warranty specialist on the line. It would only take a brief moment, and they'll let you know all of the details, okay? Okay. Thank you for calling the home warranty department. My name is Erica. How can I help you? Hi, Erica. I have Mr. Robert Wilson in the line with us. He wants to know the details in regards to his home. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Hello, Mr. Wilson. Actually, my last name is Grinnell. Oh, why did I have Mr. Wilson? Is your name Robert? My first name is Robert, but my last name is Grinnell. It's spelled G as in golf. R is in Romeo, I is in India, N is in November, N is in November, E is in Echo, L is in Lima, L is in Lima. Okay. Let me get you pulled up here. That way I can take a look. Okay. Sorry. Uh, let me see here. I don't know where she... Oh, it's Wilson, your middle name or something like that. I don't know where she got that from. No. The only Wilson I know is the President of the United States during World War I, Woodrow Wilson, and Ronald Reagan's middle name was Wilson, so Ronald Wilson Reagan. Some people said it also meant 666. I don't know why I have Robert L. Wilson here. I'm going to fix this. This is where it looks like they're reaching out about the home. No, I'm at 4550 Calhoun Street, Dearborn, Michigan, 48126.
I'm just going to get you pulled up with your name and because um, what she sent over here is not correct. So let me look you up with your uh, name and address real quick so okay. that way we can get the correct information pulled up. I do apologize. It's all right. You said this is for Robert Grinnell? Yes. It's not pulling anything up. Do you have a previous notice with your record or um, registration ID on there? Well, I never had the coverage, but someone tried to sell it to me, and I could really use coverage because I need coverage for my clothesline and my wood-burning stove and my radio from 1938 that runs on vacuum tubes. And also, my wife does all the dishes, but she's getting up there in age. And when she, if she dies, I won't have anyone to wash my dishes. And then I'll have to buy a dishwasher. Okay. So, unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to help you with those problems. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in here that um, you actually don't qualify for the coverage. Um, and you have a wonderful day, okay? Thank you so much. Okay. Hey, Robert. Yes. Robert, what's going on, man? This is uh, Kevin. Just giving you a call in regards to the uh, final expense benefits that you requested. And I was just looking to get this information sent out to you at the uh, 4550, what is that, Chahoon Street? No, Calhoun. So Calhoun. Yes. Excuse me. So C is in Charlie, A is in Alpha. L is in Lima, H in Hotel, O is in Oscar, U is the Uniform, and it's November. It's a street and Unit 13. Were you in the military? Mm, well, I was back in Nob, but I was dishonorably discharged during the Tet Offensive in February of 68. My lieutenant wanted me to go fight Charlie. But I didn't feel like fighting Charlie, so I threw a grenade in his tent, so I was court-martialed and dishonorably discharged. Uh-oh. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, well, let me, let me see here, Robert. Since you requested information on $10,000 in coverage with your nephew as the beneficiary, is that right? Yes. I don't want to leave okay. it to my son. Because my son Joseph is an alcoholic and a drug addict and a liar and a thief. Okay, interesting. I will definitely make sure it does not go to Joseph. Uh, but bear with me here, Robert. All right, man. Well, let me get you a quote on this 10000 coverage so you have an idea of what you're looking at, okay? Okay. All right. And let me see, Robert. And then do you currently have any sort of life insurance right now or any sort of prepaid burial programs? No. When I was younger, I spent all my money on alcohol and drugs and prostitutes, and I never thought about the future, and uh, now I'm worried about getting buried. Okay. Fair enough, man. Well, I'll definitely be able to help you out with that. Um, but let me see what we can get you qualified for, okay? Okay. And then you're currently 79, is that right? Yes. Okay. And then are you a smoker? Yes, I smoke crystal meth, crack cocaine, ganja, nicotine cigarettes, Cuban cigars, and I also smoke hookahs. Okay, which one's your favorite? Oh, probably the crystal meth, but unfortunately I have no teeth left, so I'm looking for some plastic chompers. Okay, Andrews, man, so I don't know if I can help you out with the chompers, but I can definitely help you out with the life insurance. Okay. Alrighty, man, um, and then let me see, anything with COPD? What sorts of health conditions do you have? Well, I have syphilis, chlamydia, gonorrhea, HIV testicular cancer, genital warts, and I also have a reptile dysfunction. 
Ah, okay. Um, do you take any medications for... Well, I'm on meds right now because ever since I got the testicular cancer, my balls are as big as church bells. Okay. That is interesting to hear, man. And then what's your social security number, Robert? Oh, my social security number is 0272419222. Okay. And then, uh, do you um, do you need approval from anyone else for this uh, insurance policy, Robert? Do you manage your own finances? I've been managing my own finances ever since I fired my caseworker, Mo Lester, and ever since I fired the law firm of Shyster and Shyster. Okay, interesting, man. Uh, alrighty. So it looks like for ten thousand dollars in coverage. Wait, real quick, you're seventy nine, right, Robert? Yes. Okay, what's your birthday? I was born a poor child, Christmas Day, year of our Lord, 1942. When I was born, the Battle of Stalingrad was still raging in Russia, and it was Franklin Roosevelt's third term in office. Okay, interesting. And what month and what day was that? December 25, 1942. My family said I was a gift to the world in the middle of a world war. All right, man. Well, there you go. Um, 1942. Okay, so you're 79. Do you have a COPD, Robert? No. Thankfully, I'm able to inhale and exhale well enough so I can take my drugs. Okay. Interesting, man. Um, do you plan on getting off the meth or the crack or anything like that? No, it's what keeps me young. Okay, interesting. Yeah, uh, so let me see here, Robert. Okay, yeah, so it looks like we'd be able to get you coverage for $10,000. You'd be looking at one thirty two fifty six a month. Um, would you be able to do that or do you want me to give you a quote on something lower? Well, can you give me a special deal at $70 a month? So, I mean, I'm an actual insurance broker, so I don't work for the actual insurance companies. I'm contracted through them, so I can basically sell you any carrier that you can think of. Um, but bear with me here. So, it looks like, if because I'm guessing $70 is your budget, right? Yes. Unless I go okay. up and set up the crystal meth lab again and start producing it, it's just I. if I become a dealer, I might end up in jail, and then I might get sodomized by the gay homosexuals. Okay, and do you have a power of attorney or anything like that, Robert? No, not since I fired the law firm of Shyster and Shyster. Okay. Um, and real quick here for you, Robert. Um, so yeah, so it looks like your best bet with, uh, with your health condition right now would be Great Western. Um, for 70 bucks a month, you'd be able to get $3,000 in coverage. Oh, um, I think I'll pass. Thank you.